Hello, good day, here is some exclusive footage of me after watching this week's episode of Outlander. While Claire and Jamie were, sadly, nowhere to be found, Sunday's episode delivered when it came to, uh, Roger. And I say this as president of the Roger is the worst fan club. Yet somehow, this turtleneck loving downer managed to redeem himself in one of the most emotional episodes of Outlander thus far. Intrigued? Here are the biggest moments from a truly moving hour of television. Roger makes a friend. I know, right? Most people meet Roger and immediately punch him, understandable, but this week he forms a close bond with Father Alexander, a fellow prisoner in the Mohawk village of Shadow Lake who has a very interesting backstory. Long story short, Father Alexander showed up as a missionary to spread the word of Christ and convert members of the Mohawk nation, which is, obviously, representative of a very problematic part of history. The thing is, he ended up falling in love with a healer named Johan, and they had a baby together. The Mohawk accepted both the baby and Alexander into their lives, but imprisoned Alexander after he refused to baptize the child due to believing himself damned by lust. So, how does Roger respond to hearing this tragic story? By going on a long rant about how much he regrets traveling across space and time to find Brianna, wow, lame and that Alexander should start looking out for himself. To which I say this. Anyway, Roger and Alexander decide to dig a hole together and escape the hut they're trapped in, but shocker, things do not go well. At all. Which brings us to. Roger actually does the right thing for once. Due to being completely terrible at digging, Roger fails to form an escape tunnel before Father Alexander is said to be killed. Poor Roger tries to convince Alex, I'm calling him Alex now, FYI, to just get over it and baptize his kid, but he's eventually forced to escape solo while Alex is being tortured, killed. But, but, but. This is when the whole redemption thing comes into play. As he's running away from the village to the sound of Alex's cries of pain, Roger's conscience gets the best of him and he turns back to help his friend. Which brings us to the moment that made me turn into this. In an effort to stop Alex's slow suffering, Roger throws what appears to be oil on the fire and creates a mini explosion that speeds up his death. But as members of the tribe restrain Roger, Johan puts down her baby and walks into the flames to be with her lover. It's an extremely emotional and painful scene that serves to show just how far people will go for love, and it also happens to be how this episode ends. That said, we haven't even gotten into what goes down in Wilmington yet. Brianna confronts Stephen Bonnet. And it's all thanks to Jamie, who, rather presumptuously, I may add, writes Brianna a letter encouraging her to forgive Bonnet as a way of healing. Brianna seems to appreciate Jamie's advice and, with Lord John accompanying her, visits Bonnet in jail as a result. Bravely, she tells Bonnet she's pregnant with a child who will never know his name. Interestingly, Bonnet procures a ruby that he's been hiding in his tooth, um, nope, and convinces Brianna to take it as his dying wish. And honestly, it seems like Brianna's perhaps gotten something resembling closure, but the thing is. Fergus blows up the jail. The good news, Brianna and Lord John escape just in time. The bad news, we can probably assume that Stephen Bonnet does too. But let me rewind for a moment. This drama goes down because Fergus is determined to bust Murtaugh out of jail, so he storms the prison, while Brianna and Lord John are inside, rescues Murtaugh, and then blows the place up as a diversion. The thing is, Brianna forgets to close Bonnet's cell, how convenient, and the prison keys just happen to be dropped within his reach, even more convenient. And while we don't see Bonnet escape before the explosion, I think we can all agree that there's a 99.99% chance he does. Say it with me, ugh.